What's going on, mobile gamers? Now, today I'm going to be giving you some tips and ideas of what I think refurbishing means when it comes to taking an old console like this and basically making it look new again. So this is, like I said, a controversial kind of topic because some people might think differently of the way that I do it compared to what they do. But on Google, it says refurbishing is just basically making the device look new again. So it feels like it's a clean device. It's brand new and well, not really brand new, but close to brand new as possible. What we're going to be doing today is just basically checking out, make sure the thing works and looking at what this would need to refurbish. So right away, we need a new screen. The screen works, but the screen is not cell worthy in my opinion. It's got a black like line on the left hand side. It's just really bad. And I would just put a brand new screen in there. Now the rest of this console is just completely, utterly disgusting. Despite the video that I sent you guys uh, or shared with you guys about me spraying it down with isopropyl alcohol and giving it a scrub, it's still gross. And we're going to see the inside of this thing in a few minutes just to see how gross it actually is. But before we open her up, I'm going to grab a toothpick here. And I started scraping some of the dirt here. And it's just, it's so grungy. Like there's stuff coming off inside of the top of the lens. And there's stuff right at the edges. This is a major spot. This is where you hold the device mostly, right? So all this dirt coming out of here this is look at this that's gross so even after spraying that down scrubbing it with a toothbrush you still get that black dirt coming out so that should be cleaned so taking this apart i took this all apart and that's what i like to do because you can actually see how much dirt is in here you can see what you need to clean see what is going on even any rust look at all the dirt on the bottom of this that is disgusting <laughs> We're gonna take some soap and water and clean that up. And yeah, we're gonna finish taking out all the metal pieces and the motherboard and everything just to give this a nice wash. So now we're just gonna remove this motherboard and the motherboard itself, we could use some isopropyl alcohol with you know just a light toothbrush or a soft toothbrush and give it a scrub. If there's any rust on it, you wanna to try to get rid of that as best as you can and all the contacts where your buttons go and everything you're gonna want to clean that off the best you can look at all of the components inside make sure that everything works and looks like it's clean like even this speaker here we're gonna clean that up with some isopropyl alcohol as well and just basically clean the the cartridge slot as well i've seen people complaining about that being super dirty now on to the membranes these are going to be the most disgusting thing look at this this is just gross look at all that dirt in there and like I said, I cleaned this with nice propyl alcohol, gave it a wash, and look at how gross that is. This is refurbishing at its finest, taking all this stuff apart. And then we're going to be throwing it in like a Dawn dish soap, soap bath, nice warm bath. Give it a scrub with a, like a toothbrush again, and just make this look clean again. Now, right here, when you're removing screens... Just be nice with it, especially if the screen is still good. As you can see, this screen is bad, and I'm going to take a look and see if I can actually get this fixed somehow. Because, like, there's some glass on the front of this one. Not every display is like this, but this one's a glass cover. I've never seen a display kind of like this before, so um, it's, it's a little bit of a different design in my opinion. But we'll see what we can do with this, and I'm probably just going to put this back in here in the end. So, for taking off the front piece, we're going to add some heat. So not a lot of heat, we're just gonna do it on low. I have a heat gun here that I'm covering it in heat and then basically this front out like cover display, whatever you wanna call it, insert is gonna peel right off so easily. You just have to push it and don't push it too hard because if you wanna keep this cover for putting it back together and you don't have a brand new one, which I suggest you getting on AliExpress or something, then you will want to put this back on afterwards. So as you see, this one's all scratched, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to be re reusing this and see how easy that was to pop off. It's just easier that way. Now I salvaged the inside of this as well. Uh, this was uh, something that you don't really have to do. I, it was just a glue adhesive tape to put the screen back in. And yeah, I was able to actually take this off and maybe it was because of the heat that I added to it, but I'm going to take this off and we're going to reuse this. Now at this point you can see here, 
how clean this thing is. I took it for a bath, let it dry, just air dried it. I did dry it a little bit with a towel, gave it some love. I tried to keep the sticker on the back of the console clean and try to keep it on there, as you can see in the background, because I just wanted it to look almost original, but brand new again. And we're gonna take some rubbing alcohol still to this thing, give it a little bit extra love and care, and spray it all down, get inside the crevices a little bit more. I did scrub it down with a toothbrush, with some soap and water, so it's just some Dawn dish soap, and I still clean this up with some isopropyl alcohol afterwards just to get rid of all the excess crud and everything in there because isopropyl alcohol is the best. Now for the rubber membranes and the buttons and everything, I'm going to still take some more rubbing alcohol to this just to get in there really nice and deep and everything just to make sure that it's super clean and clean it all up so that it just looks clean and it feels clean doesn't feel greasy doesn't feel like you just ate a bunch of cheetos and just get right in there and as soon as that q-tip is basically white still or fully black whatever <laughs> then you will be good to go to either give this to somebody sell it or just keep it in your collection because when you have a clean device Look at that. Look at these rubber membranes. The original membrane was just so disgusting. These aren't new. These are just the originals. Uh, it, it was just so gross that I could not let this stay this way. So I just pop these back in here and it just makes it feel so much better and brand new again and refurbished. Now we did get lucky with keeping this little sticker. I put this sticker back in here just for the sake of this video. I'm not going to be using this screen uh, anymore. It's just going to be like a backup screen that we are going to be just putting aside. And I'm going to be modding this console eventually with a IPS screen. So that doesn't really matter to me. But generally you would want to put a brand new screen or a refurbished screen. As you can see, I would not sell this to anybody. Uh, maybe I would sell it to someone as a you know, hey, the screen still works, but I would not sell it for more than 10 bucks in my opinion because it's not fully functional and it has those ink or whatever bleeding error on the outside. So I put this back in here and then we are going to take a look at the board. The motherboard is a big thing. Uh, when you refurbish anything, you want to make sure there's no rust, there's no uh, issues with any of the capacitors, the resistors, fuses, anything like that. And go ahead and grab some isopropyl alcohol. You can spray the inside of the uh, cartridge reader. Grab a brush. Just brush it out nicely. This is just a soft brush, just brushing it all out, making sure there's nothing in there. And then you can grab some more isopropyl alcohol and rub down the contacts for your buttons on the front which is highly recommended so highly recommended and then you can put it all back together now to me this is a refurbished console well partially refurbished console and i would still sell this probably for like 80 dollars, letting people know that hey the screen doesn't work but it looks clean there's no grunge no dirt and grime it's not you know, looking like it was thrown across the room a couple times, except for the small little plastic dings. And this is sellable, in my opinion. When you sell a console, or you want to resell a console, take the time to do this, because the person on the other end, or the buyer on the other end, will look at this and be like, oh, this looks pretty clean. Did you take care of this? And that's all it is when it comes to refurbishing. And that's my opinion on refurbishing. Have a nice day. Go enjoy gaming while you still have the time. <laughs>